Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Now our group will present about mini project Power Electronics di EKE 2123 And our lecturer is Madam Anis Niza binti Ramani This is uh, our group member Firstly is me Muhammad Daniel bin Muhammad Ruzani Secondly ni Alif Haika bin Nik Nurain Nudin And lastly, Muhammad Hafizul Hadi bin Haidi. For the introduction, uh, they have input current ripple and output voltage ripple. The step up converters are widespread used in many applications including power vehicles, photovoltaic system, continuous power supplies and fuel cell systems. The reliability Quality, maintainability and reduction in size are important requirements in the energy conversion process. Uh, to validate the performance in terms of input and output ripple and values, the two converters were test using by MATLAB or Simulink. The result uh, will support by mathematical analysis and then the cancellation of ripple in input and output voltage is significantly detected and then a DC converter also known as DC chopper it is a static device which is used to obtain a variable DC voltage from constant uh, voltage source Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nail Faika bin Ignori Nudin I'm from section 2 group 1 Today I will present about operation Operation of SMPS is dependent on the charging and discharging abilities of inductor and capacitors The ability to control the capacitor and inductor voltage is accomplished by use, uh, by use of a switching device The capacitor charging property at use in the SMPS is the current equation. For a capacitor with C capacitance and V voltage, apply over time T. The current equation will yield to be I equal to C dV divided dt. To review inductor charging properties, The radius must be reminded of the inductor voltage equation. To increase the voltage V across an inductor which inductance, inductance L, a current is applied over time T. This yield to the inductor voltage equation equal L di divided dt. Okay, my name is Mawad Abiza Hadi Mihadi. So today I will represent to the simulation for this project. Okay, we start with uh, the circuit. So the simulation of this DC boost converter was constructed with Simulink MATLAB software. So the parameter uh, used in this simulation is a uh, 50 volt input DC, 100 micro uh, farad capacitor, 50 ohms resistor. Uh, 400 micro Henry for inductor, uh, 70 kilohertz for frequency, and then the DT cycle is 0.8. So uh, in this frame, it's a complete uh, circuit that we construct. So we so DT cycle in a waveform. So we uh, we use DT cycle 0.8, and then the frequency is 70 kilohertz. Uh, so We connect the post generator with ID switch as a switching uh, device. So this is the output uh, voltage waveform. So this is the before zoom in, and then this is the after zoom in. So we can uh, we can obtain this uh, graph with connect the scope to voltage measurement. Okay, so we move to the inductor current waveform. So we get this inductor current waveform with the connect the current measurement uh, series to inductor. 
So from this current waveform, we can get the minimum and the maximum current. So the maximum current that we get, this is uh, 26.03 uh, ampere and the minimum current is 24.6 uh, ampere. So we continue with calculation. To prove our simulation done correctly, we must do calculation to compare the result simulation and the theory. So first we start with output voltage. Uh, we use the formula input voltage divide 1 minus lead cycle and then we get 250 volt and then the output voltage ripple we use the formula lead cycle uh, divided by a resistor times capacitor times frequency and then we get 0.0023% uh, and then we use uh, we go to the minimum inductor current so the formula we use is uh, input voltage divide di divide by 1 minus DT cycle square uh, times resistor and then minus uh, input voltage time DT cycle times uh, period divided by 2 inductor so we get 24.29 uh, ampere so the maximum inductor current we use the same formula but uh, change the uh, change the operate, operator we changed from minus to plus and then we get 25.71 ampere Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh in last I will present about conclusion so in this mini project we can conclude the knowledge that we learn during we do the we do this this project First, we are able to understand the principle of operation of boost converter. Second, we are able to, to use simul, simulin in MATLAB to simul, stimulate the circuit by setting the parameter and obtain the waveform. Then, we are able to calculate the vol output voltage and output voltage ripple and also calculate inductor current inductor current minimum and inductor current maximum and we can see the different the the different of the value simulation and value calculation so that's all from us thank you